Yo, what's up? It's Yo Reese, and I'm back with another video. So obviously, you've seen the title, you clicked on this video, so you can see how to get no input delay when you're playing Fortnite. So I'll be going through and I'll be showing you guys every tweet that I've did in my PC to get the lowest input delay possible. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so the first and most important step is basically going into your bio. So you wanna go here, you wanna hover over restart. And before you press restart, make sure you're holding your shift down. So hold down shift. And then while you're holding it down, press restart. So I have to record this part off my phone, but after you hold down your shift, you wanna go into troubleshoot. You wanna go to advanced options and you wanna go to UEFI firmware settings. After you do this, press restart once again. Okay, so once you get to your BIOS, this is what it will look like. You'll see everything up here. It may look a little confusing, but I'll go over everything with you. So basically I have Game Boost on. This automatically overclocks your CPU, but you can do this at your own risk. If you have a good enough CPU to do this, then I would recommend, but if you don't, do not turn on Game Boost. Next is AXMP. This is basically so that you get the most speed out of your RAM that you could possibly get, obviously. My RAM is at 4,000 megahertz, and my CPU speed is also overclocked. As you can see, Game Boost is on, as I mentioned earlier. These are all of my specs, so I can run this with no problem. If you have something close or around this, you should probably do it. If not, stay away from this, because overclocking can harm your PC and damage your products. So after that, you want to just go here, but your mouse will be really slow. So you'll just come up here, press the X, Come back down, boom, 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 press yes. And then your computer will automatically restart with these settings. All right, so the next step that I have for you guys is to go into your settings. Once you get the settings, click devices. And over on the left-hand side of your screen, you'll see that it says mouse right here. Click on mouse. And then on the right-hand side of your screen, come over to additional mouse options. Once you click that, you'll see this screen pop up. And you want to go down here and it'll say double click speed. Make sure you put this on fast. You'll be able to double edit a whole lot quicker and also smoother. I found this tweak a long time ago when I first got my PC and it's been great ever since. Once you do that, press apply and then press OK. All right, so we're back in the settings, but this time we're going to be clicking on gaming. Once you get in here on the right hand side of your screen, you'll see related settings. Under that is graphic settings. You want to click on that. Make sure you turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This basically reduces input delay and improves performance. Once you come down here, you need to browse, find your Fortnite. Once you do that, click on it, press options and set this at high performance. This will basically ensure that your Fortnite runs at the fastest speed possible with less delay. Okay, so next you're gonna click on system. You're gonna go down to advanced display settings. And once you get here, you want to just make sure your refresh rate is correct. You don't want to have a 240 hertz monitor and you're only getting 60 hertz out of it. You know what I'm saying? So make sure that you have the correct hertz so everything can run as smoothly as possible. All right. So while you're already in system, you want to go down to power and sleep. Make sure that power mode is set at best performance. All right. So these next few steps I got from a fellow friend. His YouTube is foul space FV. If you guys want to go check them out but thank you so much for these tweaks these were amazing for my pc and they worked so amazingly all right so we're going to go into device manager open it so once you get in here go to human interface devices so boom you'll come down you'll see your keyboard right here whatever keyboard you have plugged in will be what it's called so you'll just go in here click this double click it go to power management Make sure you check this and make sure that it's off. Do not enable this. Uncheck it. Make sure both of these are unchecked. Press OK. And then scroll down until you find your mouse. Boom. You can just go to mice and other pointing devices. So just go to here to HID compliant mouse. Go here. Make sure this is unchecked. All right. So while you're still in device manager, scroll down. You'll see system devices. You want to go down and find high precision event timer click on this make sure this is disabled this will basically give you way more input delay this won't help with anything make sure this is disabled this is another important step all right so the next thing you want to do is go here type in registry editor make sure you run it as administrator or it won't work once you get in here i'm gonna go full screen so you guys can see it but select this bar up here make sure you delete it so you just cut it or something and then paste the one that i have in the description paste and then boom, all of this will pop up. So once you get in here, make sure affinity is at zero. Make sure the GPU priority, the number right here is at eight. 
make sure priority is at eight, make sure your scheduling category is at high, make sure your SFIO priority is also at high. All right, so for the next step, we'll be going right back into registry editor. So type that in, make sure you run it as an administrator again. Exit that out. All right, so when you get back in here, make sure that the top of this looks exactly how it looks in the description. So once you get back in here, it says system responsiveness, make sure this is at zero. But just a warning, if you have a low end PC, I would recommend putting this at three. I have a 3070 Ti, so I can run this with no problem. So if you have like up in the 20 series or better, you can put this at zero. And obviously if you have something better than mine, you can obviously put this at zero and run it with no problem. But another one, and again, if you have a low end PC, make sure you put this at three. All right, so the next step is to download Malwarebytes. This is a software that scans for viruses and all sorts of things like that. So basically you don't want any viruses on your PC because this can add to your input delay. So you wanna make sure your PC is clean all the time. So you wanna do a scan. All right, so after that scan, it didn't take long, about 56 seconds to be exact. You can obviously see that I have no viruses on my computer, but that could be different for you. So if any viruses come up, just hit the option called quarantine. It will remove any viruses that you find on your computer and make sure you do this scan on a daily or weekly just to make sure that you have no viruses affecting your computer, not just Fortnite or anything. You don't want your computer totally messed up to where you can't even access Fortnite. So make sure you do this on the regular just to make sure and be safe. All right, so for the next step, go on your search bar. You wanna type in game mode, open it up, make sure you have this on. This basically optimizes every game you play and it makes it run as smoothly as possible. All right, so for the next step, you just wanna right click, go to NVIDIA control panel. And then once this opens up, you wanna go straight to a des desktop size and position. You can see that my scaling mode is on no scaling and I perform my scaling on my display. Make sure you have this check override the scaling mode set by games and programs. That's for if you have like stress res or anything and you're trying to override the default reses that they have in the Fortnite game. So basically just make sure everything is correct on this end. After this, you want to go to manage 3D settings. Basically copy all the settings that I have right here. All right, so this setting, low latency mode, I have it on ultra, but remember, I do have a 3070 Ti, which is a 30 series card. If you have a 20 series or lower, I don't recommend turning this on, but if you have a 30 series or better, you can turn this on or ultra depending on what you wanna do. I use ultra and it's amazing, I love it. So here are the rest of the settings that I have. All right, so after that, go to configure surround. Make sure your processor is on the exact graphics card that you have. And then that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for sticking around for this whole video. I'm going to be showing a free build. All right, I just want to inform you guys that I am not a zero ping player. I played 20 ping through 28 ping. I am from Florida, so I can't get zero ping. And on NA Central, I played 50 MS. I just wanted to let you guys know that because after these tweaks, it'll make me feel like I'm a zero ping player and it'll make you feel like you're a zero ping player. So I just want you guys to enjoy this last free build and also consider subscribing. Make sure you like and comment on the video. I reply to every single comment. And once again, thank you guys for tuning in and thank you guys for watching the video. Enjoy.